Well, folks, here we again for the weekly forecast. During this past week, we did deal with some thunderstorm activity, particularly last weekend. And then, of course, during the midweek period, as we've seen a couple complexes move from the Dakota south and southeastward through eastern Nebraska, central Nebraska. Some very heavy precipitation was re reported uh, as we were into the Wednesday night, Thursday morning time frame across the I-80 corridor. We've seen totals anywhere from an inch to upwards of three inches in this area. Unfortunately, some of that precipitation did not reach that extent in southeastern Nebraska although the areas that were impacted by the heavy precipitation were sufficient enough that we would expect to see some shrinkage of the abnormally dry conditions that were depicted on this week's drought monitor as we go into next week's edition. That is, if we couple it with some additional precipitation chances that may be in the forecast as we look forward into the future. So let's go to those maps and see what we have going on for today. We have high pressure ridge trying to build in the atmosphere, so the warm front of the surface is starting to move through the state. And we do see it depict on the models at least a chance for some isolated thunderstorm activity to develop in advance of that warm front that's depicted here in this little bit of red. Weak chances at most, but we should see the best areas of precipitation being east central southeast and portions of south central Nebraska. Now, as we go into tomorrow, we will see that that ridge tries to build a little bit farther northward, so basically putting a halt to all precipitation in the northern plains. We see a trough to our west, and we see some energy ejecting out of the southwestern trough and that may impact portions of western Nebraska with some late day afternoon thunderstorm activity. But more importantly, as we go into Monday, we start to see this ridge translating toward the east, bringing very warm conditions to the eastern Corn Belt, and we see this big trough poised to move across the northern plains. Therefore, we'll start to see a surface front dragging through the regions. We get late Monday, Tuesday time frame, and that would develop some thunderstorm activity in, in association with some of the monsoon moisture that's pooled up in the central Rockies. A fairly decent chance for precipitation breaking out in western Nebraska, and most of that carrying over as we go in the day on Thursday or on Tuesday, excuse me, where we have a considerable amount of lift across the entire region. So this looks like our best chance for scattered thunderstorm to more concentrated thunderstorm activity. And eastern Nebraska looks to be the most likely area that we would see the heaviest precipitation totals. Now, as we go into Wednesday, we'll start to see that the front basically lays itself in a west to east fashion across the central plains. So to the south, very warm conditions. To the north, much cooler than normal conditions. And so in Nebraska, we'll see a wide range of temperatures approaching the 8, 90 degree mark in the south. And we'll probably be looking at the mid to low 80s across the north with still an isolated chance for thunderstorm activity. As we go into Thursday, we see the same type of formation. Most of the activity remains to our north, and we are into this blue, which means there's subsiding air, so we don't expect much more in the way of moisture. And then we start to see the ridge building into next weekend with the heat starting to return in earnest. If we look at the 8 to 14 day forecast, next Thursday, the following Tuesday, the heat still stays in the east. And in terms of precipitation, we see widespread precipitation in the east. I think we're overdue to here in Nebraska. Now, for the last two weeks of the month, which takes us from the middle of July to the end of July, above normal temperatures almost the entire country. And in terms of precipitation, below normal precipitation from western Texas, northeastern through the eastern Corn Belt.